to detect it. Because it's the same rain that brings forth herbs. So what are we talking about? Re reactions. How, how do we react? How do we respond to God's word? That's why God's word comes to all of us. Some go, uh, they go like the Berean Christians to go and check it up, study the God's word, pray the word of God into their lives to be changed. But others keep it on the shelf. Others, tomorrow, they hear God's word. Tomorrow, they start using God's words. But if the same, the, these are two believers who had the same word. Once during the week, he's using God's languages. He's checking pornography. But he had the word. And when he had the word, he liked it. He enjoyed it. Why will the word of God which you had during the, on Sunday or on Thursday and the next two days you are in masturbation or you are watching pornography or something is wrong. But that which beareth thorns and breasts are rejected. There is a reject and is nigh unto cursing. Whose end is to be born if that person continues? His end is hellfire. It's to be born. But Jesus said, come unto me. If you are laboring, groaning, you don't know what to do with your life. The word of God has been coming to you. Change and you've been struggling with it. Come to Jesus. Mm -hmm. He does it right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. The fire of the living God will consume all those wickedness. It's not you. They are the fiery darts of the wicked. You don't allow it to land. When God created you, he said, good, you are good. You see, he said, take up the shield of faith and quench. So um, we need to be persistent. Persistent. We need to um, go the mile for our transformation. Take the limits of you. Elisha was angry with that king, the king of Israel. So why did you strike three times? When we are fighting the enemy, yes, he, he tried to have strike three times, but Elisha was angry with him. He wanted him to destroy all the embellishments of death, Amen. destruction surrounding you, all those things that bring bad thoughts, wicked thoughts, sensual thoughts. Destroy them. Amen. That brings laziness, um, lack of interest in the word of God. Take the arrow, shoot it at Pharaoh. That arrow was a prophetic pointer that deliverance has come. Then we need to do our part. He said, hit the uh, it smite took the smite the ground, the ground, everything that answered to the earth, every nature, strike it, the name of strike Jesus. it, destroy it with the word of the Father, with the word of the King, strike it. Mm -hmm. the, the man of God was wroth with him and said, Thou should have, have smitten five or six times. Yes. Then has thou smitten Syria till thou hast consumed it. Mm. Whereas now thou shalt smite Syria but thrice. No, let's do, let's take limits of God. You know, take limits of you. Take limits. You are bound. It's boundless love. The love of Christ is not bound. It grows in you. In multiples. We have plenteous redemption. The redemption is plenteous. Plenty redemption. In the name of Jesus. Uh, the book of John chapter 10 verse 10. Put it up there please. Let's take limits of God. And make that. Take limits of God. No limit. God has not put any limit. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come. I am come. The great I am has come. 
that they might have life and that they might have it more, not just abundantly, more abundantly. We have been called to an abundant life. An abundant life. So our responses to the rain that comes often, it comes often. In that Hebrews chapter 6, number 7 and 8, the rain of God, it comes often, often. When you are sleeping, the rain comes. It comes in your dreams. When you are driving, the word of God comes into you. The rain comes, it keeps coming. It keeps coming. It keeps coming. The rain keeps coming. Please, let's respond to the rain and right in the name of Jesus. Amen. To the rain of God in our lives. That's one great mercy God has shown us. Rain, rain, it keeps coming. In the name of Jesus. Amen. My earth shall bring forth, will continue to bring forth herbs. Amen, yes. Herbs for meat. Amen. Put, please go to that Hebrews chapter 6, verse 7 and 8. So you begin to see why some ministers are anointed and are doing rubbish. They chose to do rubbish. That's not your lot. That's not our lot. For the earth which drinketh in the rain, we drink in the rain. The anointing that comes from God, it comes often. It comes often upon it. Father, we receive more, Amen. more, more of you. And bring it. Now the next thing is a response. Bring it forth heads. Meet for them for whom it is dressed. Yes. That is, that head is edible. Yes. It's edible. Let people see your life and eat it. Mm. Want to be around you because mm. of the honor Christ has put on you. They see Jesus at all times in you. Bring forth herbs, meet for them for whom it is dressed. Receive it what? Blessing. Blessing. So that earth, not only will you feed people and bless people, God will bless you. Amen. But Amen. he that beareth thorns, so now begin to destroy every thorny environment Amen. in your life. Amen. Because that will be rejected in the name of Jesus. Amen. Back to Matthew chapter 13. We're just looking at responses. Responses. Mm -hmm. That we should respond and write. Uh, uh, before we go that, go to Genesis chapter 4. The, the first, apart from Adam and Eve, the first major response to, to offerings made to God. Uh, Genesis chapter 4, verses 1 to 5. Of the fruit of the ground and offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. That was response. Now go to the next verse. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt have rule, thou shalt and thou shalt rule over him. Now, if thou doest well, brethren, we need to do well. Hallelujah. Then if thou doest not well, so these are responses to God's visitation. Verse 4, let's see verse 4, verse 5 actually. Verse 5. But unto Cain and to his offering, now, had not but respect. unto Cain and his offering. So God was not just looking at the offering of Cain, but unto Cain, the personality of Cain, Hallelujah. the thoughts of Cain, unto Cain. So, Somebody can give big offering. When I say I'm not talking money, just give offering. Or even give himself. And it's not right. The Bible says if you, you don't have love, you give yourself to be born, you are nothing. It's, it pays nothing. But unto Cain and to his offering. So now when we come to worship God, God the Spirit of God is searching, looking at our hearts. 
Hallelujah. Unto Cain and to his offering. So Cain is put into, you know, is God looks into Cain. He says, you do well. So Cain did not do well. You know, we don't know what thoughts he had. Even before he gave uh, the offering, he says, unto Cain. Maybe he came there with a competitive spirit. Mm. I don't know. The Bible didn't say that. Mm. But of course, it implied that. Mm. But unto Cain and to his offering. So put yourself unto your name and on my name and my offering. Do I have respect? Does God respect it? Hmm. You know, so uh, let's see where it spoke about uh, Abel. Uh, what verse about Abel and unto Abel and his and, offering? And the Lord had respect. What verse unto, is that? Verse 3. Verse 3. And Abel, he also, verse 4, sorry. And Abel, he also brought of the firstling of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. Yes. Amen. And the Lord had respect unto Abel. May God respect Amen. you as an individual. The, the respect comes because of Jesus. Not because we are good. Amen. But Jesus makes us good. Hallelujah. And, unto the, and the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. So the Lord, the Lord is looking at the offerer before the offering. Yes. The offerer before the offering. So let's come with a clean heart as we offer, as we worship, as we pray, as we sing, you know, as we bless the Lord. May God help us to come with clean hands. Amen. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. And as a guarantee for that, don't go checking yourself, oh, am I guilty? Am I? No, no, no. You have Jesus. Yes. He is your righteousness. You just come by faith and believe it. Amen. And once you believe it, believe it, you name it, you walk on it. You walk. You, it, it works out in you. Amen. No man comes to God and God denies that person. No one. Come to me, all you that labor. You might have been liberal. Just come to him. He accepts you. He changes you. And it will be written of you. And the Lord had respect hmm. unto you. And unto Amen. your offering. Amen. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. Amen. That's our lot going forward. Yes, that, that was our lot yesterday. Amen. That's our lot today. Amen. And that's our lot going forward. Amen. That the Father Himself Amen. has respect, respect, has respect unto our persons Amen. in Christ Amen. and to our offerings. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Back to Matthew chapter 13. Praise the name of the Lord. 20, 20. And 21. Mm -hmm. Let's put 20 and 21 together. But Praise. he that received the seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word and anon with joy receives it. Yet had he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by he is offended. Now, Offense. we need to have root in ourselves. That's understand why we are called, where we are going to understand the purpose of the death, burial, ascension, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, having root in yourself is not learning so much, uh, making yourself um, great in knowledge or just being a good person. No, it depends on the Lord Jesus Christ. We have to depend on the Lord Jesus Christ to shape us. The Bible says, put on the mind of Christ. Amen. Uh, it says somewhere in the scriptures is to, to know the height, the depth, the width, the breadth of Christ. So once you know that you are equally enlarged, mm -hmm. you are having depth in Christ. So Christ is the centerpiece of our focus. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. Now let's look at some practical steps where we can begin to have depths. Yeah, depths in ourselves. Uh, let's see quickly Luke chapter 6, 46 to 49. Luke chapter 6, 46 to 49. Hallelujah. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Whoever cometh, whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them. Now, we, we, we are all hearing 
not hear, not just, we have listening ears, mm. but we have attentiveness. Our spirits are open to receive and drink of the water of life. Hallelujah. Now, and do it then. So that's key. Do it then. So pray to the Lord. I hear your word. Let the power of your Holy Spirit help me to do your word. It's not by my own. Let the Spirit of God grant you grace. You wake up in the Spirit. Christianity will not be a struggle. Living holy will not be a struggle. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It starts with hearing the word of the kingdom. It says, I will show you to whom Amen. he is like. Amen. Amen. Verse 48. He is like a man which built a house and digged deep. Digged deep. And laid the foundation on a rock. Mm -hmm. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon the, that house. And could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. Let's just stop there. He is like a man that built a house and digged deep. deep. Amen. So you must be purposeful. These are practical things we are talking. Um, brethren, may we be woken in our spirits mm. to dig deep. To dig deep. Don't shy away from scriptures. Don't condemn yourself. There's therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. The Bible says that it is given unto you to understand the mysteries of the kingdom. All the parables, it is given unto you. It's, it's, it's a gift. Now, it's a gift. Everyone is gifted to understand. I want you to know that. Now, it's, some say, ah, to dig deep. It's not a big, it's not a big term. It's, it's an aid of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Ah, dig deep. Ah, no. It's the grace of God. If you want to do it by yourself, you cannot. But if you want to depend on God, you struggle. Let's say, let's take the things that make us dig deep. Prayers. I've been in times in my life when I kneel down to pray. One minute I'm tired. I just wake up and I ask. I'll say, oh, no, no, my knee is spinning me. Ah, the ground is too hard. You just you see, begin to see excuses. Oh, the heat, that's so heat. That time I say, oh, Nepa took like heat. Uh, you know, those kind of stuff is too hot. Yeah, you give yourself reasons. You confront those challenges headlong. Those are the enemy's traps. We have to dig deep. Even if you 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 feel tired and you will kneel on the floor there, on the ground and sleep there, Go, <laughs> the Lord knows your intention. You are strong. You just need to say, Lord, I come to you, but I'm tired. Tell him the way you feel. Lord, I don't feel like praying, but I come to you, help me to pray. You begin to speak. Speak to yourself like David spoke. Oh my soul, rejoice in the Lord. Amen. Why that cast down, oh my soul? Rejoice in the Lord. Brethren, the Holy Spirit will help us to dig deep. The problem with the man in verse 21 of Matthew 13, you don't need to go there, he says, yet he had no root in himself. Mm. The Lord grant you capacity Amen. in yourself. Amen. Amen. The Lord grant you Amen. patience Amen. in yourself. Ability to have patience, to dig deep, and lay the foundation on the rock until you touch Christ. Don't stop. When you pray, you study, and you touch the rock, you will know. When you speak all those foul words and you're off the rock, you know. When you your thoughts are off the rock, you know. Someone sitting by you may not know, but you know yourself, you know, you know. So dig deep. 
lay the foundation on the rock, which is Jesus. So in all your gettings, get Christ, seek Christ. In your prayers, seek Christ. You know why many people don't prosper in their prayers? They are praying for all self, maintenance culture. It's all maintenance. Lord, bless me, bless my business. Today. Monday, Tuesday, bless me, uh, my children. Yeah, it's nice to pray for all those things, you know, but there are things that are after God's heart. Go after those things. Yes, Lord. Dig deep. Let's forget about ourselves and concentrate on Him and worship Him. Because it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Then all these things, you know, all these things, some, their prayer pattern is fashioned after all these things. All these things. Just face God. God will take care of you. He will take care of you. Just dig deep in Christ. Let our focus be Jesus Christ. Dig deep. Dig deep. So as you are digging, when you pray until you strike Christ. Now, don't make it look as if I'm giving you a pharaoh to tread. Christ is not far off. Say the word of God is nigh thee. Amen, amen. Don't have an impression that you need to dig deep, you need to stay two hours, then you dig. No. One moment, because Christ is always around, it's in your heart. All you need is to remove those layers of flesh, those wild thoughts, imaginations, which block, you know, people from reaching Christ. You come free, I come boldly. The Bible says, come boldly to the throne of grace. Come. Your mind doesn't want it. Say, yes, I come in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus will accept you. Amen. He is like a man with built a house and dig deep. I think I would, let's stress this and stop here. Amen. And dig deep. And let the foundation on a rock. Amen. On what? A rock. That rock is Jesus. So, may we come to that estate. Hallelujah. Jesus is our thoughts. He's our driver. He is our bather. You are in the bedroom, you are receiving the revelation. He is the chef. You are in the kitchen, you are not only cooking, you are also receiving revelations. Hallelujah. Let him be all around you. In your walk, you are receiving revelations. You don't go in a stressful eight-hour walk and you come out dumb and dry. Come on back, come up alive. At the scent of water, the Bible says, at the scent, the tree boughs. Yes. Always have the scent of water all around you. Mm. Have it. You think you are losing the scent? The scent. The scent of, the smell, the smell of water. Smell the word of God at all times. Hallelujah. Smell the grace of prayer. Smell the grace of the Holy Ghost. Feel his presence. It's not by might. It's not by power. It's by the spirit of the living God. Amen. These are very simple practical ways to dig deep hmm. until you touch the rock. Oh, now, so you will not be a seeker of the rock but the rock holds you. So you don't look for the rock. Mm. You are always in his presence. Always. Grow in that culture. In your sleep, you are in his presence. In your waking moments, you are in his presence. Your life and times are in his hands. Mm -hmm. In him you live and move. Mm -hmm and have your be. Let that be the culture, the culture we adopted yesterday. Mm. We live in it now. We grow in it for tomorrow. Amen. To the praise and glory of the Almighty God. Mm. May our spiritual senses be made alive Amen. for us to dig deep Amen. In the name of and Jesus. always hit the rock. In, the name of in Jesus. prayers straight to the rock. In the, name in the of word of the Father, Christ. the revelations of the rock, the rock, Jesus. Yeah, you open the scriptures, yeah, the word of God opens to you. Yeah, Let, grace yeah, yeah, yeah. to you. Yeah. Let grace be at poor to you. Let grace be at poor to you. Lord, build in this assembly a people 
who have the word revealed to them. The people who know Jesus, who love the Lord, who dig deep, who are always in touch with the rock that is Jesus Christ. Let's continue to, let's begin to pray.